let's take you on a journey of what it's like to fight a fire in rural Liberty County with a taxpayer funded fire department. Behind these gates, there was a fire on November 20th. There was no plan and there was no coordination and there were no resources to extinguish the fire. And so it amounted to a controlled burn. How can this be? Let's see what it's like to refill a 3,000 gallon tanker if you need more water to extinguish a fire. First we pull up to the road. We check and we see that we have a vehicle on our rear view mirror. If we were a first responder, we would have on lights and we would be able to pull right out. How much time is required? firefighter and you have been trained and work for Liberty County you've begun to work on this fire right here now there's a lot of water at this fire station Back. those are sprinklers and that is a well presumed to have been adequate but in this fire station there may or may not be 3,000 gallons of water in that pumping truck and when they need more water where does it come from let's take a drive You're a fire engine and you need to refill with water. Do you refill at the fire station? Do you refill at the swimming pool? It's available at the apartment complex or at the residence where the fire is taking place. Do you pump from a river or a lake? These are all options in coastal Georgia where we have access to the Florida aquifer as well as rivers as well as an ocean.
in this scenario, we are driving 60 miles per hour, and we are seeing the amount of time required to go refill a pumping truck to fight a fire in East Liberty County. And we will even go 64. We'll go nine over the limit. same drive required of all firefighting trucks in East Liberty County where we are about to approve an additional 7 to 10 million square feet of warehousing. There is no rural water supply. water supply for the fire department for East Liberty County. Here are one, two, three, four, five, six additional people coming into work at the warehouse. This is the target distribution center. And here is the sole fire hydrant that the leadership of Liberty County has made available to the residents of East Liberty County. Here, take a good look at it. This is your sole water source. Who is this water source for? Is it for the employees pulling into work? Is it for the warehouses? Who paid for this water? Did this person's wages pay for this water? 
did this person's wages or his or her employer pay for this water? Did this person's wages or his or her employer pay for this water? And this vehicle. It is um, 5.35 on a Saturday morning. Did they pay for that water? And let's see where that water needs to go. That is the sole supply of water for the fire department in East Liberty County. We've got a fire. Let's pretend like we've got a full truck. And let's get ourselves up to 64 again. Now for the fire at our home on November 20th, we're told as many as nine trips were required. How much is each how much time is each trip taken? fire department with no water to fill its trucks but adequate water for the grass this is the well and these are Liberty County leadership priorities a fire station with no water supply Let's get back to that fire. We're at 15 minutes.
Liberty County going to get fire or water to a fire? tanker truck needed a refill. We're about to see the round trip time. essence. I mean, there's lives on the line. This is property to protect. And what happens when you don't have enough water? What happens when you don't have enough water? What happens when you don't have a plan for water? What happens when you don't use the water available to you? Here's a hose that's attached to a, uh, entirely too dark to see, but uh, functioning well. That stayed functioning for the night. But what happens when you don't have enough water and you make this long of a trip? You're left with this shell. But according to accounts, there were as many as nine trips needed. A 
up to nine trips. Now you're a fire truck and you've brought water and you've emptied it and it's being pumped onto the fire. So in this scenario, you've now, maybe this is the amount of time it's taken to empty your truck. And <clears throat> maybe there's still something to save. How much time does it take to go back and refill? Let's find out. But wait a minute, what if there was water closer? What if there was a pool? Time is of the essence. You'll get water anywhere you can. What if there was a closer place? What if that was 30,000 gallons of water. Would you be able to fight a fire in that case? In this scenario, the scene of the fire, just so we're all clear, is right here. So, how close are we to water? Hose, well, spigot, five gallons of water every 15 seconds. What is our proximity to water here? This is rural firefighting. This is dealing with the wild land urban interface. Well, you can, if you've got it, use a pool. You can, if you've got it, you go down the dock and you use river water. These are your options and you have a fire to fight. And your county leadership has not put a hydrant at your fire station. So two water stage, uh, uh, sources. This is their proximity to the fire. This is a lost fire. And let's see what was done instead of using these nearby water sources. Let's take a drive again. You are now a pumper truck and if you don't have access to a river and you don't have access to a pool, then let's see what you need to do to put out a neighbor's fire.
for water. We've got a major fire, and if we don't contain this fire, it could possibly spread to uh, forest land. So how long does it take to fight this fire? Let's see how long it takes to go refill the truck.
What does Liberty County leadership do? Well, you need two things for fire, to extinguish a fire. You need water, and you need a human to apply that water. For our fire, there are only six humans available. did it take for each pumper truck to refill itself? Here we are again. Here we are at the Liberty County Development Authority's Industrial Park. If you're under any delusion that your investment is safe here because there is the capacity to extinguish the fire. Um, that's a mistaken impression. If you are thinking about investing money in this county, you might want to ask Why is it that this is the sole resource, the sole source of water for your fire department? If you live in East Liberty County and a fire truck needs to refill itself, this is where it has to go. Meanwhile, one, two, three, did these people pay for this water? No. Did the Target Distribution Center pay for this water? No. Did the Safavia Warehouse pay for this water? No. Now that you're a firefighter and you've filled your truck, let's go see how far you have to go to take care of your residents. Let's go to Sunbury. How long will it take for us to get to Sunbury with water? Liberty County, Georgia. 
you should not open a business in East Liberty County, Georgia. You should not invest money in East Liberty County, Georgia, unless you want to see that investment burn. You're now on an active fire fight. You're hoping you might just have to tend to the fire. We're going to head to Old Sunbury. How long is this taking? Fighting a fire in Sunbury. Are things beginning to look familiar? That's the Liberty County Fire Department. Shall we make a U-turn in front of it? Nuts. So you received a phone call and there's a fire. gotten yourself dressed and ready and you've met all standards for being out of the station and on your way you've been called from the Sunbury condos you're on your way you've got a fire fighting truck with 500 gallons you've got a pumper truck with 3,000 gallons you're on your way all you have to do is just come down here and have a plan to extinguish this fire. Let's see how you're gonna do that. We're now driving down Fort Morris Road. mistaken. This is now privately owned and there is no source of water here for the fire you're going to put out. Let's go see if we can put out that fire. certainly would hope 
Is it? If you have to go in here to defend a fire, then there's adequate water or access to a pool. But meanwhile, the fire you have to defend is this way. And so now you're getting into Sunbury. closer. We're getting closer to arriving on the scene. And you pull in. But where are you pulling in? Where is the fire? Oh, it turns out that there's been a fire How many gallons of water do you have in this truck now? Are you going to be able to extinguish this fire? If you own this business, or this restaurant, you're renting this home to people, or if you live in this three-story condo, how is this fire department going to defend your fire? They have 3,000 gallons of water, no hook and ladder, just two separate buildings, three stories. What is the plan to extinguish this fire? And then the fire that could spread here. And then the restaurant. Who all would be affected by this? make u-turns that works okay you're bringing a 3,000 gallon tanker truck down here what's your plan for this fire What's your plan to fight a fire here? extinguish or use your 3,000 gallons of water, where in Sunbury are you going to get water? Are you going to be able to come to any of these homes here on the left or any of these homes on the right have water for you to refill? Now that you've got to refill your truck, where are you going to go? 
are you going to come over to this house? Hey, this is a this is this is a a great commercial opportunity. So where will your investment go when you buy or build something here? Um, there's no water. Will you get it from the villages of Sunbury? Um, there's no water. So where are you gonna refill your truck now? Um, where will you go? Now, when the Sunbury condos are, are a flame and they're 80 foot flames, what happens when there are embers over in this person's property? What will they do? Where will their water come from? Will they be safe? Who's actually leading public safety in Liberty County? Who's actually making decisions in Liberty County that affect our safety? We're now pulling away from Sunbury. Let's say, just for the sake of argument, that you were able to extinguish that fire, but now you have another one. Where's your water gonna come from? You've got a dilemma. You now have to head to Colonel's Island. Where's your water gonna come from? sense of how reckless it is to build densely populated neighborhoods in rural areas without water supplies. Do you see that this borders on negligence? Who ensures this? How do you ensure someone that a fire can be managed on their property if they live in Sunbury, Georgia. Where is their water coming from? This is a real-time, unedited drive. Refill. You should go to the right because that's where your hydrant is to refill. But you have some water in the tank and you've got to head straight to Colonel's Island. Or perhaps you're beginning the day and this is a whole new scenario. And so let's start again. So in this scenario, we begin here. We hope we have water in our truck. Now the fire is this way.
purifier down here. And where will this water come from? Sunbury and then you've had to come over to 
Van Dyke Creek. And then you're called over to Yellow Bluff. Now, what is our plan to manage a fire in this neighborhood? Keeping in mind that there is no reservoir to refill your fire truck from. So we're in the Yellow Bluff community and who here is going to be able to defend their home against the fire? If 15 people are needed for a 2,000 square foot home and only six at any given time can be made available, who's going to be able to extinguish a fire in this home? Who's going to be able to extinguish a fire in this home? What happens when this home catches on fire? What if this home catches on fire? Who would sell homes in this neighborhood? how long it takes to get to Yellow Bluff. Who would insure a house in this neighborhood? If there was a fire in this neighborhood, who would extinguish it? underwriter, this is worth caring about. Now this is this neighborhood. What if there are fires in this neighborhood? Firefighter, tell me as you're driving through here at night where you would stop for a hydrant to refill your tank. What is your firefighting plan? Home after home after home. Where are the fire extinguishers? Ensures these homes against fire. And as you watch this video, are you wondering how you, as a first responder, could assure? residents in this community 
that you could extinguish a fire? There's a fire in the next neighborhood. We're on Colonel's Island, Liberty County, Georgia, as far east on Liberty County, Georgia as we can go. And if you have a fire, who's going to extinguish it for you? And where's the water going to come from? Are there fire hydrants on this street? You know, anytime you see that indicator or that reflector in the street telling you that there is a fire hydrant available. Knees to the left, or the homes we just passed. Who's going to extinguish these homes? And who's going to extinguish a fire in these homes? Should there be one? Who insures these homes against fire? How can they be insured against fire? Wait, is this another neighborhood? Surely there aren't more homes in here without water or a fire hydrant. But you just let me know when you see one. in this neighborhood who insures these homes against fire what county or city government assures these residents that should there be a fire that they could adequately defend the property Now, one hour and four minutes. You're in a growing community with no infrastructure to fight fires. There is no water infrastructure to fight fires. You have a municipal, county funded fire department. The county is responsible for fire safety in Liberty County. have a fire station without access to water. You've seen that it is a 20 minute round trip to return to the fire station with water. I've shown you how far and how complicated it can be to have to go into a dark residence. I've shown you how complicated and daunting it can be to take on a three-story condominium. I've shown you the potential problems if a three-story condominium sets off auxiliary fires. Who is going to begin what water from where to extinguish these fires? This is a recently built home. Who will extinguish that fire? And where
where will the water come from? There are multiple new homes being built behind this fence. Who will fight a fire, extinguish a fire, if it happens in this area? Liberty County Fire Department is unable to use water from natural sources, such as a pool, or a river, or a lake. They're dependent on a single hydrant at the intersection of US 84 and I-95. We are about 10 miles from that hydrant. from that fire station. To my left are all recently built homes. Every single one of these are homes that have been built within the last year. Who insures these homes for fire? Where is the water gonna come from to extinguish a fire? should one of these homes catch on fire. Who has a plan in Liberty County for fire safety? I've gone down Islands Highway. I'm now returning up Camp Viking Road. Yellow Bluff neighborhood. The distance for ash or sparks to travel to set off an adjacent property is less than 10 feet. There is no infrastructure of water for Liberty County. If you live in Liberty County, how are you protecting your home against fire? Who is protecting your home against fire? How much are you paying for your home to be protected against fire through the county fire department? How prepared are they? intersected with Islands Highway and for fun let's drive to the fire station. fire hydrant. Have you come across one yet? Or 
is the water going to come from for a fire?
conscience ensuring anyone on this island that they can have fire protection. How are you in good conscience telling anyone on this island in East Liberty County that the Liberty County Fire Department is capable of managing their public safety? Not once have you seen a blue reflector in the 